Hi guys, Ruth here from Beltane Gifts and welcome once again to the Crafting Shed. Um, this week slightly different, instead of painting I've actually been drawing, I've been drawing some labyrinths and that's because this time of year normally I would be attending the Mercian Gathering which is uh, a pagan event with lots of teaching and classes and talks uh, rituals. It's an amazing event and one of the things that I really love doing there is helping to build the labyrinth that they have. Now a labyrinth is similar to a maze but it has a set route through it and they're used spiritually for meditation uh, to help focus the mind and if you've never been through one I definitely recommend it. There's some all over the country. There is actually uh, one near where I am now. There's a garden centre called Dobby's just outside of Nuneaton and opposite them there is a place called Maze World which is supposed to be the largest collection of mazes in Europe and they have a fixed labyrinth which you can walk around if you wanted to. So they refer to the labyrinths as meandering with purpose and I think that's brilliant. For me that just it's very similar to life. Um, there is a goal there, you might not be able to take the direct route so you kind of you meander, you, you work your way around it to get where you want to go. And in this case, the journey is the thing. It's not reaching the centre of the labyrinth. It is walking around it and thinking and just experiencing being there. Great experience. So, as this year, because of COVID, the gathering has basically gone virtual. It ended up on Facebook. It was really a good weekend uh, checking in there and seeing what people had put posted and what they had done, done videos on so it was really good not quite the same for labyrinths though so I decided what I would do is I would have a go at crocheting a labyrinth um, yeah it took about 18 attempts I did achieve it in the end and I think I will continue making them because I've enjoyed doing it so there will be a future video just of me uh, showing you how to crochet a double crochet using two different colours um, which is what I used to make the, the labyrinth blanket Anyway, before you can do that, you need to know how to draw a labyrinth. Well, at one of the previous gatherings that I went to, there's a lovely couple that talk all about labyrinths and the ones they've visited all over the world, and they also taught us all how to draw these labyrinths. So yeah, so I shall pop on a little video of how to draw your own labyrinth, and I definitely recommend it. It's um, a great thing to have a go at and you don't need to be able to walk around it physically, you can actually follow the labyrinth with your finger and still get the same effect. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, to draw a labyrinth, what you need is a piece of paper and a pen. Now I'm using graph paper. This is really gonna help once we start doing the pattern side of things. So, in the centre of your paper, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by filling in five dots by five. So the graph paper is really handy for this. Normally, it gets quite messy. Don't worry about me not feeling the whole thing, you'll get the idea. So, we've got five by five. What we do now is we take our central, so the third one along, and we're going to draw a line. And we're going to do the same in the middle, so the third one up, which leaves us with four lots of four. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're just going to do half boxes. I'm going to do that for all of them. So that your piece here looks like this. Okay? So what we're going to do now is This gives us our centre to the labyrinth. Okay, so this little bit here, that is our centre. 
what we need to do now is working from the left side we're going to start here where we've got our bit we're just going to go up enough that there is a line of blank spaces between this line and the one we've just drawn and then we're going to join it up to this dot here okay. and we're going to keep working from the left going towards the right and joining up where our dots were so our next one's here so we're going to go up just high enough that we're leaving that gap there so there's one layer of plain spaces in between each of our black lines which is why this graph paper is so handy for this we're going to go down until we can link those together. So again, going to one to the right, move out enough just that we can leave that space. If you need to, you can use a ruler for this. I'm just doing it freehand for now. Next one. Again, go out just enough so we're leaving that blank space in between. What you can do, just if you want to know, just fill out the rest of those bits there. You can just do a little dot so you know where you're aiming for. As it gets bigger, it's quite handy to know where you're aiming. Okay, so this is our next one. I have to bring it down just a bit. leaves us with a nice square shape that we can crochet. Now what I will suggest, if you are going to crochet this, it isn't just as a labyrinth, what I would suggest is bringing this bottom line here across and that moves our entrance just to the edge here but gives us a nice rectangular shape we can work with. 